tournament may be over, but we're not done with the fun. Welcome back to the old Jack and Valley Speedway as we bring you more action here for the F Body Frenzy presented by Merch by Mickey. I tell you what, yo, we're gonna have some fun. Let's get going. Come on. Absolutely, Ricky. The tournament may be done, but that doesn't mean the fun has to come to an end as we have a series of special events set up for you guys. This time around is a six-man, six-slap event between the drivers who did not qualify for the tournament, as well as a few other drivers who wanted to mix it in. I told you we had some guys grumbling in the back, well here's their chance to rub it out. Ricky, I don't think that's quite the right term to be using. What? Rubbing's racing? Yeah, but it's how you said it, but you, no, never mind. But anyways, I gotta get out of here for something special for you guys, so I'll see you in a little bit. Wait, what? Where are you going? Well, I don't know what that's about, but let's get down for these driver introductions for this special event. Starting us off in this 1983 Chevy Camaro for Mad Mike's Customs with a qualifying time of 17.439 seconds, it's Mad Mike. Up next in his 1970 Pontiac Firebird with a qualifying time of 17.552 seconds for Merch by Meekin, it's Gringo Loco. And in his 2010 Chevy Camaro for Variant Skunk Works with a qualifying time of 17.628 seconds, it's Ash. In his 1975 Pontiac Firebird with a qualifying time of 20.885 seconds, 446 diecast racing, it's Boog. And also in his 75 Pontiac Firebird for Captain Z Epsilon 1 Alpha Racing, it's Sappo. And finally in his 1984 Pontiac Firebird for Bootleggers R Us Motorsports, Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Are you serious, Ricky? Ladies and gentlemen, these are your drivers for this special event here for the F-Body Frenzy. Somebody get me a radio headset right now. Let's go, come on, give me a headset. Let's go, in his car. Ricky, it's Funkhauser up here in the booth. What do you think you're doing? It's Kevin, Ricky, it's time to shine. Ricky, I mean, what are you doing in that car? I'm gonna watch all these amateurs go in now. It's time to show them how a pro does it. Ricky, that car barely even looks roadworthy. Where'd you even get that thing? No time to talk. Gotta get to a race. Dear God, have mercy on them as we are now underway. Down the back stretch they go in a turn one. It's Mad Mike with Gringo Loco right there on his tail. Here comes Ash in the rear, becoming behind us. Looks like Gringo Loco has taken the lead, but Mad Mike shuts him down and he takes the lead right back. Gringo Loco gives him a tap as we head down a final stretch. It's gonna be Mad Mike coming in first place, followed by Gringo Loco, and we have a pile up on the final stretch. And Mad Mike puts down a track time of 17.366 seconds. As we watch the cars come out of turn four, you see Gringo Loco clears it, but it looks like like Ash gets sideways and blocks the lanes. The other drivers are unable to get past him as they all come to a stop. Here comes Sappho right in the rear behind them. He has nowhere to go, slams on his brakes, but it's too late. He rams right into the back of Boog. After that huge pile up in the first lap, your leader is Mad Mike. Then you have Gringo Loco in second place, followed by Ash, then Cousin Ricky, Boog, and then Sappho is bringing up the rear. It's lap two, it's now underway. Once again, Mad Mike is leading him down in a turn one, but you've got Ash right there on his tail, giving him a push. Here comes Gringo Loco making a pass and turn through the chicane. Cousin Ricky is right there on his tail as he and Mad Mike get together. They're all spinning out on the final stretch. Here we come down to the line. It's gonna be Gringo Loco in first, and here comes Boo going across in second place, and then Mad Mike makes it across in third. That was some chaotic racing coming out of turn three as we have a track time of 17 points. Four, four, three seconds. Looks like Ash is on his side, and it looks like Cousin Ricky has also come to a stop there at turn four. Then we have Sappo. Looks like he is upside down in turn three, as we have got to go check out the replay and see the chaos that has ensued. As we watch the cars exit treacherous turn three, it looks like Sappo goes too high. He can't control the car and then rolls it over. As we watch the cars go down the super stretch out of turn three, they all just get collected and turned sideways. Cousin Ricky gets turned around. Ash gets turned around. And it looks like Boog and Mad Mike are the only ones to break three and roll through as it looks like Ash rolls on his side and then Cousin Ricky gets pushed to the bottom by Boog. Ricky, it's Funkhauser up in the booth. Hey, what's going on, buddy? What's going on? We got some dirty drivers. Dirty drivers? Ricky, you're the one who's always said Rubbin's racing. Yeah, well, I'm about to shift it into high gear. Well, let me know how that works out for you as we now have a new leader of Gringo Loco as lap three is now underway. Down the back stretch, they go. Gringo Loco has a light lead over the other drivers. But here comes Boo taking off, catching up to him and making the pass. Here comes Gringo Loco. Can he make the pass again? As it looks like Boog shuts him down on the high side. Here we come down to the line of big hit, but Boog takes first place. 
Oh, by Gringo Loco. And then here comes Mad Mike limping across the line with a track time of 16.688 seconds. And it looks like we have another pile up in treacherous turn three. Let's check out the replay and see exactly what just happened as it looks like we have drivers upside down and turn around. Watching this replay, you see Cousin Ricky gets turned around by Mad Mike, and Ash gets caught up in the mix. Here comes Sappo hitting Ash from the rear and throwing him into the tire barrier. The tires explode as Ash gets rolled over. Another hard wreck for these drivers. Hey, Ricky, what happened to that high gear and show these amateurs how it's done? Yeah, you're laughing now, but I'm about to have the last laugh. If you say so, Ricky. And with that, we now have a new leader. It's Boob with Gringo Loco right there on his side as lap four is now underway. Boog leads him down in a turn one, but you've got Gringo Loco right there on his tail. As they come down, Gringo Loco tries to make a pass through turn two, through the chicane. Can he catch up to him? He's right there on his tail as they come down to the final stretch. Who's going to be? It's going to be Boog, followed by Gringo Loco, then Mad Mike and Sappo coming in fourth. As it looks like we have more trouble with a track time of 16.884 seconds. And would you look at that? I don't want to hear another word. Well, at least we know he's okay as we watch the replay here you see cousin ricky is right on sappo's tail as he enters into turn three and he just rolls it over driving it too hard here comes ash with nowhere to go he slams right into the back of cousin ricky and they are both caught up at the exit of turn three and with just two laps to go, ladies and gentlemen, your leader is still Boog with Gringo Loco in second place. Mad Mike is right there in third, and Sappo is in fourth place. Cousin Ricky and Ash are going to have to work hard to get anywhere in this as lap five is now underway. Down the back stretch they go. It's a tight race between Boog and Gringo Loco, but Boog is starting to pull away. Can Gringo Loco catch up to him as they head through turn two? Through the chicane, Boog is starting to pull away. Down the super stretch into turn four. Through the final stretch, here they come. It's going to be Boog followed by Gringo Loco, then Mad Mike. And would you look at that? Cousin Ricky actually finishes a race as he comes across the line and forth. Ash once again finding himself and his Skunk Works machine in trouble as he is stuck outside of turn three. Let's watch the replay as you see the drivers exiting turn three. You've got Ash right on Sappo's tail and he's unable to correct coming out of the turn. His car gets turned sideways and he comes to a halt. Another tough break for that driver. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. It's the final lap. Who is going to be going home and taking the bragging rights? Is it going to be Boog, Gringo Loco, Mad Mike, you even got Cousin Ricky sitting there in fourth place. As we are down to the final flap, White Flag is out. Down the back stretch, it's Boog and Gringo Loco fighting for the lead. As it looks like Boog has it, but here comes Gringo Loco making the pass through turn two. He's out of the chicane. Can Boog catch back up to them as they come down the super stretch and a turn four? Down the final stretch, it's going to be close, but it looks like Gringo Loco eats out Boog, and it looks like Cousin Ricky actually comes across the line third, and he comes in backwards of all things. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cousin Woo! Ricky actually finishes in the money as we have a track time of 16.694 seconds. And it looks like Sappo once again is unfortunately upside down in turn three. Let's check out the replay and see what just happened as we see all the drivers coming in. And it looks like Sappo is trailing behind as he's able to finally get in. But it comes too high and once again he rolls his car over as it comes to a stop just before exiting turn three. And the final results, ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this special event, F-Body Grudge Match, it's Gringo Loco, followed by Boog, and then Cousin Ricky coming in third. That's right, Cousin Ricky, show them how it's done. Ricky, if nobody knew better, they would have thought you would won this event. Yeah, better than you ever done, so that makes me number one. You wrecked on all but the final two laps. I'm number one. Ricky's number one. There is no way we can be for the same gene pool. As always, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank you for being a part of this event. And if you love the content you see, please remember, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as we bring you more exciting racing action here from the old Yakin Valley Speedway. And speaking of exciting racing action, make sure to tune in for the Merch by Mickin presents Stock Car Nation. The best stock cars from all eras being sent in from around the world. So be sure to tune in soon.